Is it that we just haven't mastered it yet? If it's there, and if it's as wonderful as you and so many others say it is, why hasn't it blossomed properly yet? Well, part of it's adoption, right? So if you look at what's happening behind the scenes, um, JP Morgan, right? J Jamie Dimon, the, the CEO there, hates Bitcoin, supposedly. Yeah. And yet, JP Morgan is buying up blockchain technology. <laughs> uh, Bank of America now has 45 uh, blockchain patents that they own. Uh, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway buying up blockchain. So what we're seeing is on one side, um, there is a, a discussion about whether or not this is real, whether it's going to really have application. But on the tech side, look at not what people say, look at what they're doing. And what these major tech companies and major Fortune 500 companies are doing right now, like IBM, is they're buying up blockchain technology and, and using the application within their businesses. Walmart is now applying blockchain to what it's doing. When a company like Walmart starts to adopt blockchain, huh. it's, not, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Finally, and I think we're just down to about 30, 40 seconds, but a lot of industries who are getting screwed like by the system, like alternative media, for example, outlets who are being censored, yep. are now looking at Bitcoin. How's that going to work? Yep. So, so one of the things that I've been promoting is a way to fund independent media using cryptocurrencies. We've done it with Dash and with Smart Cash. Uh, we're actually pitching a project here at this conference called Ice Agoria or Ice Media, which essentially creates a treasury system so that independent media can get funded. And this is a way that you can also decentralize the funding model. It doesn't have to come through advertisers. It can actually come from, through a community that builds up the treasury and then has the power to vote on content and on projects. We believe that that is the future of independent media, especially as we watch you know, sites like PayPal and Patreon on deplatforming so many independent media out there. Ben Swan, man, you know your stuff. It's really, uh, it's great. It's fun to talk to you. So th those are things that you should be definitely paying attention to. Uh, if Walmart, one of the biggest retailers in the world, starts to use crypto, I think that's a great sign. And if you haven't bought into crypto or if you've been out of crypto investments, I would definitely watch for that. But what I think is more important are the regulations. When proper regulations are finally released and institutional investors are able to come in, I think that will really change the crypto space. And uh, they make a good point where uh, adoption is key. And I still think um, if you look at the internet, adoption was not very uh, large in the 90s. And the services and technologies, and a good example is Amazon, uh, is completely different. Amazon in the 1990s, what they offer to what Amazon is today. And it's the same with cryptos. They're going to evolve. And um, people who are paying attention to this and uh, understand this are going to profit and are going to take advantage of great opportunities that will be coming to uh, the economy. And uh, that's why I think you should uh, continue to subscribe to this channel. And I will try to release as much news and coverage and try to explain cryptocurrencies the best I can as a crypto enthusiast. And um, let me know your thoughts and comments, and I will talk to you soon.